I stepped in when it came to this house. If you've been praying for one, you're getting one. You can own to let you know this. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, Angels, and Ancestors, Lopens have passed away. What is the collective need to know? What do they need to be aware of at this time? Please and thank you. Wow, the Emperor in the reverse. Very, you know, this could be a masculine energy, a father figure, an uncle figure. It could be your ex. It could definitely be your ex. It could be a workplace. Um, if you've been praying for justice for whatever they did to you, you're getting that justice. Yeah, look, <laughs> speaking of, you're going to have victory, success, public recognition, possibly even fame. They're trying to block whatever you're doing for work, too, that you're doing in your with your purpose. It's not happening. You're the one that's getting the victory, success, public recognition, possibly even fame. There's like a workplace that like owes you money or, or stole something from you. Maybe they illegally kicked you out or like fired you or something like that. And for that instant, like, you know, that, that person that worked, that rented like a place from either right lived with somebody they worked with or or you um rent it like an apartment or a house or whatever it was from that workplace or they're going into your home you're getting justice for that you've been praying for that yeah they're heavily burdened because they see they know that they're going down they know god stepped in you're getting this victory your ex could have lost a job too Somebody lost a job, your or your family could have lost a job. We have ten ten. Something about your family. Yeah, your ex definitely worked with karmic family of yours to put you in grief, pain, sorrow, or agony, so they can try and steal and like they, you know, to put you in grief, pain, sorrow, or agony, and to cause you some sort of chaos, destruction, or people mayhem. It could be a father figure, an uncle figure, um, that worked with your ex, and also could be even more karmic family of yours. But God stepped in; it's in God's hands. Okay. They're still working with them, and, and also a workplace too, an old workplace possibly. Somebody lost a job. Yeah, look, ten again, Lord, ten, ten. It's a painful, permanent ending. It's a complete end of a cycle. Somebody, somebody might have passed away. You, you're gonna get a message about this, okay? They've been exposed because you're an earth angel. Everything's being balanced out. They're going to prison, and you're getting passionate new beginnings, and you're getting some sort of like um, spiritual upgrades or something. It's coming for your passionate beginnings too. It's coming from your spiritual gifts. You're gonna. It's gonna. I'm telling you right now, your spiritual gifts are so on point. You're so tapped in. It's gonna bring you so much abundance. Okay. They're trying to make a painful permanent ending to it, but it's not. You're gonna find out someone passed away. You might be a father figure or uncle figure. You might not know about this, or it could even be your ex. You might not even know about this. Somebody's gonna. You're gonna hear about it. It's gonna be exposed. And it might be because you have a backfire from some death magic they sent you. I feel like it's their karma. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, Angels, Ancestors. They might be hiding this. This might be a hidden thing. You might not even know about this. Somebody, but I strongly feel like maybe a father figure or uncle or somebody passed away. You don't even know about it. Or shit, maybe it's your ex. They're, if your ex didn't, they're about to be passing away. Nine of Wands are getting some sort of physical, mental, emotional, and or spiritual ass weapon. Some sort of they're under like some sort um, some sort of spiritual attack from whatever they sent you. It went right back to them. Because the one million percent East Orange Truth has came out to your actual tw um, true twin flame about how they were lying about you. They want to come and invest in you and possibly, you know, move with you. Because it's the completion, it's the end of a cycle. They're coming in to protect you. They know the truth about about you and, you know, why you walked away from these people. They're under heavy judgment. Maybe your, divine, maybe your twin flame is walking away from their family. Because they know about the, the truth about how they're sending, you know, attacking, spiritually attacking both of you. And they're coming in to invest in you and possibly move, you know. They might be trying to come move closer towards you or something. I mean, I feel like they should come contact you first because I don't think you even want to be in the state that you're in or an area that you want to be in. Shit, I want to get the fuck out of Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. 
I can't stand this fucking. It's not even the state. It's just the people. The people around here. You know what I mean? Somebody could have like um, a bald spot or somebody could be Jewish. Somebody could have like that bald, you know what I mean? Like how they had that or like, you know, somebody could be Jewish. You know how they wear the yarmulkes? I think they're called, right? That could be an indicator that could be you or somebody involved in the situation. I feel like there's a masculine energy, maybe like an uncle figure that might have like, that's karmic, that has like, that's like balding like that. That's been trying to block you. Or someone you consider to be family. Which was never, they should never even, you know. Yeah. You're a spiritual leader, extremely gifted. Use your gifts for the good. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, Angels, and such as looking to pass away. Guys, can we get those lights up, please, and thank you. Yeah, somebody got... This guy was going to say, too, your ex might have got kicked out there. Like, maybe they got caught cheating as well or something on, on you know, maybe they had shit. Your, your ex might be, have a whole family. They might even got married since last time you seen them um, or had kids or something like that. Or they don't have to really have, they doesn't have to be have kids, but their family, they could have kicked them out. Because they found out what they were working, they were working together to come up against you and like possibly, you know, maybe they found out that like their, their person they're with now found out that they're doing the same thing to them as they did to you. So they're like, F no. And they kicked them out they, or they, maybe they caught them spying on you and shit. I don't know. Now they want to come apologize because they have nowhere to go. They got kicked out or it's a family member that got kicked out. So they want to come apologize because they're in grief, pains, or agony. They have nowhere to go. Don't let this person back in, please. They're karmic. They're just going through chaos, destruction of people, mayhem. But God stepped in on this shit. They were trying to get you kicked out too. They are working with family members trying to get you kicked out. They're under heavy judgment for this. Keep these people away from you, I'm telling you right now, because they're under heavy judgment. They're going through bad karma. This is why God had you step away and, and cut these people off because you don't want to get be part, you know. They're just trying to come dump their bad karma onto you and take your good karma. Do not allow that. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, Angels, Ancestors, loved ones passed away. What does the collective need to know? What do they need to be aware of at this time? Please and thank you. Thank you, Spirit. I don't know why SpongeBob is coming to my mind. SpongeBob SquarePants. The hangman in the reverse. And the the night of the Knight of Wands on the fence. Alright. They tried to sacrifice you for fame. That did not work. This group cold club and secret society. Somebody tried to sacrifice you for fame, it didn't work. They're nervous now. This father or uncle or your ex, your ex is definitely very, very much so nervous about your power, about your wisdom, about your knowledge. And also someone sacrificed, tried to sacrifice you for, for fame and they can't, you know what I mean? They, they can't follow through. You're too protected. It's not going to happen. So they're now they're extremely nervous about your power, about what they're going to do because you were their sacrifice. But it was blocked. Tell me it says. Yeah, you're a whole earth angel. They know this now. And now they're scared to death because they know what they've been doing to you. So, you know, the, the karma for coming up against an earth angel, for attacking or sacrificing an earth angel, are you kidding me? Everything's being balanced out. They're all... Everyone's getting locked the fuck up, or worse, and you're getting passionate in the beginning with your spiritual gift. And you get some sort of like upgrades. I'm getting Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, Angels, Ancestors, and the ones that passed away. What is the collective need to know? Yeah, it's a completion, it's the end of a cycle of them holding on to some blessings that belongs to you. Because you're staying in your power, standing in your power. They're being watched. You could know this intuitively. You might be in hermit mood. It's only to protect you. You're getting good luck and fortune because you're you're staying within. You know what I mean? You're you're, you're being so obedient. You're getting good luck and fortune. Okay, you're planning your whole new world, and, you're, and I'm telling you, the house and and your investment, like everything, is protected. Okay, you, you're single, self-sufficient, independent. Your money's protected. These people are, are obsessed with trying to block you, stop you. Um, they're doing some sort of money blockages. It's not working. Okay. Um, 
this is what they're planning on doing they're trying to block you and something about a house you're planning a whole new world you're about you can maybe visualize okay we have a two ones so let's talk about vision visual visual uh, visual visualization and vision so visualize okay um you're getting this good luck and fortune you could be a visionary possibly all right go inward meditate a little bit more you you have the answers are inside of you okay you're getting this victory success public recognition and fame they're watching you get it in this union as well all right um I truly feel like somebody's been trying to manifest a whom you are. You're going to. Just visual something about visualizing. You need to visualize it. <laughs> Confirmation, excuse me. If you can see it, it's something about wine. Wine is significant here. There's something about wine. <laughs> Confirmation. Maybe somebody has a winery or is going to be. Something about wine. Wino could be someone's last name. Or they're whining about your about your victories. Tillman could be someone's last name. Jake could be somebody's name. Yeah. You're a spiritual leader. Completion, end of a cycle. Because you're you're in your purpose. You're doing what you're supposed to be doing. You're going to be known around the world for your spiritual gifts, too. You could have a platform. I'm strongly getting you have a platform. And if you don't, you should definitely get what you should definitely get into. Get, do it. Because you're going to be known around the world for your gifts. And, like, I'm, there's something about... Something about the, the internet. You're going to get a major blessing from the, on the internet. Something that to do with the internet. Maybe you have a platform. With spiritual, like a platform. If so, you're, it's, you're going to get some sort of major blessing on that. So definitely do it. They're watching you. Your karmic family and your ex are definitely watching you. On your, if you do have a platform, they're watching you. They're shocked. And they're like, they're butthurt because they can't stop it. And they can't block it. And they're very nervous about it. They're nervous about what you're going to say. And like you know the, what you know and what you're going to say and you know it's causing a whole bunch of chaos destruction on people mayhem holy spirit divine spirit angels and ancestors and the ones that passed away thank you yeah oh shit it's a completion of the end of a cycle of them holding on to this fucking inheritance god stepped in it's in god's hands somebody got kicked out of the will they want to apologize about this it was a generous amount that was left to you there's some sort of evidence they left some sort of um they also have some over um um accounts like uh, um oversee accounts in that's in your name or that that's where they're hiding this money at the cops know about all of it they're getting kicked out of this house there's a house definitely involved it's your ex for sure definitely your ex that would have everything to do with stealing this inheritance along with karmic family along with karmic friends people you consider to be um family as well yeah they were all involved they're nervous because they know they're going to the feds because like the world card that could also be like talking about the federal penitentiary because like they they you know with the feds you can get placed all over it's not just like you know in your state it can be all over they're nervous as fuck about this yeah there's something about if you don't have a platform you need to start one you're going to be known around the world with your spiritual your spiritual gifts, okay? Your, if whatever you're doing in your purpose is very prosperous. They're trying to sacrifice you and your um your purpose, but it's not happening. They're very nervous about your spiritual gifts, okay? Um, and about your power. You're way more powerful than this group called Coven Secret Society. Someone's name could be Jen or Jenny. Jennifer. Brian or O'Brien could be someone's name. Kyle could be someone's name. Johnson could be someone's last name or John. Yeah, your your gifts are protected. You're protected. 
whatever you're doing with your spiritual gifts and your purpose it's all protected you're you're heavily protected okay holy spirit divine spirit angels ancestors loved ones have passed away what does the collective need or what's the outcome i'm sorry what's the outcome please thank you someone's doing iv um um drugs as well somebody might be overdosing possibly it could be an ex of yours possibly or they might be on IV, like an IV drip because they're passing, you know what I mean? Whatever, they're, pa they're, they're passing away. They don't have much time left. I just heard balance and harmony. Yeah, and I'm telling you right now, you're, gonna, you're coming into union, okay? with you like this is how you're going to meet your divine counterpart you might be traveling possibly and you're going to meet them or something like that but i feel like you're meeting them it's your it's your emperor your empress you know what i mean you're going to be meeting them um i feel like whatever you're doing with your spiritual gifts you are already tapped in okay you are you are already connected in the 5d it is coming down to the 3d They're nervous, but they're good nervous. It's it's like you know what I mean, just like a normal nervous. Like they're just, but they're cute. They're they're you know, it's cute the way that we had ten ten again completion end of a cycle. Yeah, the lovers. It's definitely it's like a twin flame or something, or like your soulmate or something. Yeah, they're planning the whole. Their ships are coming in. Okay. And you, whatever you're doing with your creative, like with your creativity and your fertility, um, you're progressing rapidly. Someone's trying to end it for you, but it's not. It's not happening. Keep your eyes on your goals because you're going to get there. But you're going to be finding out. They already know. Your ex definitely knows that um, they're going to be passing away. They know it. So I guess they're going to be like their deal with God is to make it right. To they have to apologize to you. They have to. Um, and they have to tell about this inheritance and they are and release this inheritance. Thank you. Yeah. The Knight of Pentacles. You're going to be hearing about this inheritance. You're getting like a job offer promotion as well coming through your spiritual gifts you might meet your divine counterpart it might start off as like a job maybe you're working with him at first and it's going to turn into a happy home happy family you know marriage possibly um yeah you're gonna have passionate new beginnings when you get this inheritance as well too like it's a lot of money that was left to you and these people are in their head about this boohoo crying and someone's you're going to hear about someone somebody's locked up it could be a family member could be in jail um right now but yeah, everything's being balanced out because you're an earth angel. There might be a little bit of patience that's needed, but it's gonna your patience and your your um your faith is gonna pay off tremendously. Everybody's been exposed, okay? You have nothing but happy days ahead of you. All right. And these people, it's a painful permanent ending to somebody else's happiness and them holding on to someone passed away, I'm telling you right now, somebody already passed away that you don't know about. It might be family member or it could be your ex. But if your ex didn't pass away yet, they're going to be and they know like they're they don't have much time literally at all. And it's a painful, whatever it is that they're, they're passing away from, it's a painful death. They're passing away, like, painfully. They're trying to cause some sort of, like, painful permanent ending to your happiness and everything, to your union. It's not happening. You're way too protected from this. You're way, way too protected from all these idiots that are smiling in your face, stabbing you in the back, um, trying to end your happiness and end your, your whatever. Okay, we got the, you're going to be getting a message, I guess, from your divine counterpart. They're coming in and you're protected. And about somebody... Yeah, they know that you're, you know, you're very creative, you're very fertile, but you're also making a message about somebody passing away. Someone, I feel like somebody already passed away you don't know about. You're going to be hearing about this. Um, and also about what their goals were to unalive you. I feel like their goals were to come in to tell you about their, this passing, but you had your sword up. Now they're in their head, they're freaking out because they don't know what to do. They can't sleep at night. They know they have to make this right. They know they have to apologize. They know that, that death is coming for them. They know it. 
their problem, not ours, right? But, um, I'm going to leave right there, guys. But, yeah, I feel like someone's already passed away that you don't, they've been hiding from you. They didn't tell you about this or you just didn't know about it. You're going to be hearing about somebody that passed away. It could be either a family member, maybe your ex, or, um, you know, your ex is, your ex is definitely passing away, though. Um, you're going to be hearing about this one way or another. But they already know. They've been known. They've been known that they were sick for a while. They just haven't told nobody. And whatever it is, it's like a painful, it's like a painful passing. I don't know why I just keep getting colon cancer. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. All right, guys, I'm going to leave right there. Please um, do not forget to give God, Jesus, angels, ancestors, and loved ones that passed away the utmost love, respect, gratitude, and appreciation because I'm moving mountains for us and getting ready to rain down miracles on us, all right? And spread love, not hate always. Please, if you did not hit that like button yet, please hit that like button. Please hit share if you like to share. And please hit subscribe and turn that notification bell on to all so you can always be updated whenever I put another message out there for you guys. And if you would like to donate, you do not have to. It's not a requirement, but it is truly appreciated. The information is in the description box down below. And thank you from the bottom of, but with all of my heart ahead of time to anybody and everybody who chooses to do so and to everybody who has been and for the super thanks as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. May God bless your beautiful souls tenfold. And make sure you guys are subscribed because I'm going to be doing the giveaways but it's for subscribers only so make sure you're subscribed all right guys have a good day uh, and god bless